Shut up and sit down. Greetings fellow Earth Travelers, Oblix here, and today I want to take a first look at the Morphic M63. How y'all doing today? So this is going to be a first look, not a full-on review, because there's something a little different about this guy. Uh, I got him as part of a deal on the Watch Gang Exchange. Uh, where I was actually looking for another watch and somebody had posted the watch I was looking for along with this one for a great deal. So I ended up with this guy. Um, but when I got him, I was like, ah, you know what? There's something that needs doing. So let's take a look at him. Uh, we do have the proverbial come check us out on interwebs card. And there we go. The Morphic M63. We pull this guy out. And the box is nothing to write home about. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, I do still have the plastic on here, front and back. Uh, it was never worn. Again, got it from the Watching Exchange as a uh, brand new in box. And obviously it is. It's you know still got the keeper, it's uh, or it's still got the um, the time gap deal here that prevents it from running while it's in the box. Um, so what I first noticed when I pulled this guy out is this leather strap. Now it's a good looking leather strap. It actually feels nice. It's um, padded. It is genuine leather. I have no doubts there. It feels very good. I just don't think it suits the watch. I don't think it matches. Uh, I mean a great piece branded buckle, uh, but just doesn't go with the watch at all. Um, so I was, I was going to put it on just to give it a little bit of wrist time, and I was just like, eh, that band. I mean, a great band, just not for this. So, in pops the Chinese Express. <laughs> uh, did a little, uh, eBay shopping, and thanks to our Spyderco Manix 2, we will get a look at what we got. And I already got crud on the table. So I ended up with this, a uh, navy blue and orange NATO strap. Now I don't know if this is, this is definitely not the perfect color blue, but um, I couldn't find the exact color blue. I really wanted that color blue with orange, but it you know, just wasn't something I could find. But I think we're going to switch that out for this and see what this what this guy looks like. Uh, it's easy to swap them out if we hate it, but uh, you may give this guy a little bit better life. I don't know. Let's take a look and see. So. That's why I'm going to leave the plastic on, because we're going to be faffing about in here with metal tools. And I just want to get in here and get these uh, spring bars off. goes to the 6 o'clock and the buckle to the 12. And let's get this guy in here. So now we're going to take these spring bars out of the leather. And 
we're going to reuse those. We're just going to pull them out like so. And we're going to pop them back in here without a band on them. So, should just be able to do that with our fingers. Give it a good tug, make sure it's in there solid. Because you don't want that popping loose because your watch will fall off and onto the ground and probably break on you. There we go. Fantastic. And grab our strap. And we're going back to the glasses for this now. Now remember, buckle's going to be at 12, and tongue is you know, the tongue here is going to be at 6. So we want the watch basically placed right around there. So we're going to go through the spring bar, between the watch and the spring bar. We're going to come up on the other side and then go back through between the spring bar and the watch again, like so. And then we're just going to slide them all the way up and get them kind of positioned in the middle between this buckle and between that buckle and what'll be this buckle there. So I just let them slide down a little bit. Then we're going to pop the strap through this buckle, like so, and there you go. Definitely not the blue I was wanting, but the best blue I could come up with. Now, I could go with just a straight orange band. I think that would actually look pretty good. This doesn't look bad at all. I think this definitely looks better than the leather. Uh, the great leather. I don't want to knock them on their leather. Uh, it is fantastic leather, but I do think it is just the wrong material for this watch. Uh, and I may look around for some other choices, because uh, I'm not super happy with that blue, to be honest. Um, but I do think it looks better than the leather. But, the Morphic M63, and we can take the plastic off now. we got this guy in a wearable state. Uh, and I love these straps, because you can just swap them out so easily. There we go. Plastic's all gone. I mean, you could switch out every day if you wanted to, to a different strap. So let's check this guy out on wrist. Now, quick wrist check. I am wearing the Armin Bossy Rocket in gray and cyan. I love that coloration. That's one of my favorite color patterns. And the waves in the, the face are outstanding. So, pop the rocket off, and let's get the Morphic on. There we go. And definitely a little bit long on the tongue, so we'll just do a flip and tuck on it, like so. I don't know if you guys could see that. Went through the first band, and I'm going to pop over the second band and tuck down into it, like so. If your natives are too long, you know, not crazy long, but a little bit long, that's a good way to get around it. And you get that kind of nice little hump there. Uh, there you go. Morphic M63 on a NATO strap. Not my favorite color pattern. I don't know, make them more orange. But because now we got it on the NATO, it's super easy to swap out and switch it every day if we want. All right, guys, it is about a week later uh, since the last clip you just saw. And, well, I'll tell you what. I finished that last little clip, 
and couldn't help myself went out and bought it and I was able to find a lighter blue this was the lightest blue I could find and I do think it matches a little bit better let's take a look and see shall we all right so we're just gonna pop this off remember pull it out of there we're gonna pull it from between the spring bars and pull it from the other spring bars and set it aside now always remember buckle to the 12s the 12s up here the tongue down to the six so and we want it lined up just like we did with the other one so super easy just pick this guy up off of Amazon I think he was I don't know ten dollars or something pretty pretty inexpensive um, so we want to take the long tongue and just like we did with the other one we want to go between the watch and the spring bar like it a so and just slide him all the way up on to the watch or the watch all the way up onto the band now we want to go back between the watch and the spring bar on the other side just like so so it pulls out like a that and just pull it taut want to line our watch up between this keeper and this buckle best we can there's actually a, a, a seam right here that's gonna keep it from going up too far so that's about right then we just want to pull our tongue back through this last um, buckle if I keep my hands on it boom and there we go now what do y'all think the navy or the light blue which one's looking better There's the knee, or the light blue. I gotta tell you, I do think that looks better. Yep, I do think the light blue looks better. Let's get it all the way on the wrist. And that is the beauty of these straps, guys. I mean, there's a couple of, of things. They have a few things going for them. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, the words are just not fitting in my mouth properly. Uh, one is their ease. Of switching out I mean you saw it took a couple of seconds you, you get up in the morning you want to change your style you you know pop it out pop it off switch on a new one you're out the door um, two they're so lightweight and three they breathe so your wrist isn't gonna get all sweaty like it will with silicon straps uh, and then four they dry you know so you go swimming with this guy no problem jump out of the pool it's gonna be a little wet for a little bit but as you're drying it's drying it'll be done in no time so you know while silicon dries quicker I would say uh, it's not gonna dry underneath until you take it off where this is gonna dry all the way around no problemo so you know if you're out inner tubing or something like that that's a big thing around here is to go out to the river and uh, you know, inner tube down and you're in and out of the water all day long you know if you were wearing a silicon you'd be constantly taking it on and off to keep to get it drier you have one of the ones with big old holes in it um, it just gets annoying uh, you know, unless you have something like this guy like this deep blue here that has these just massive holes cut into it uh, to allow for some air to get through there but it's still you know that's a lot of, of rubber space to prevent you know your wrist from drying out whereas you know this guy's just gonna let the air flow you're gonna dry out no problem but yeah I do think that light blue looks much much better and I do think I'm gonna leave it on there for now and we'll relegate this guy to another watch down the road all right but I'm gonna post up shots of both the light blue and the silicon at the end of the video you guys tell me in the comment section in the down yonder which one you think is better I'm kinda leaning toward the light blue I gotta tell you but I wanna hear what you guys think so drop me a note in the down below let me know so that's all the time I got for today I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me as we take a look at the early look first look at the Morphic M63 switching out from those original leather bands which just really didn't fit the watch and heading into a NATO strap
first on the navy blue, which we still didn't like. And then in, or at least I didn't like, we're going to find out here in a little bit if you guys liked it better. I do, the contrast in color is not terrible, I'm going to say, but I do think the light blue looks better. Um, but as we moved into the light blue as well. So basically three different bands in one video. There you go. But until next time, you guys get out there and make some noise. We'll see you.